MXQ Pro 4K 5G is perhaps the most sought after rock chip Android box in the Philippines or maybe in the world today. Although its published specs are known to be fake, still many people are swayed into buying this box because of its relatively cheaper price of around 850 pesos or 17 US dollars compared to popular Android boxes like the Mi Box S, Nvidia Shield, Strongleap S1 or Mikul KM2. MXQ Pro 4K 5G are sold like pancakes almost everywhere, at Shopee, at Lazada, and even at the Facebook Marketplace. As they say, you get what you pay for. If you are not an experienced troubleshooter of Android boxes, especially the ones with rock chip processor tulad ng MXQ Pro 4K, for sure talagang mapapainom ka ng Biogesic sa kakaayos lang ng MXQ Pro mo, lalo na pag nagdoko ito. What if the time comes when your rock chip Android box has started messing up at sa kasamang palad ay eh hindi ka nakapag-backup? Is there a chance to install another firmware to make it work again? The answer is yes, and we'll discuss how to flash a compatible ROM to any rock chip Android box using the rock chip Android tool. Let's go! The Rockchip Android tool is probably the most useful app for Rockchip Android boxes when it comes to flashing stock firmwares or compatible ROMs. In order for you to be able to use the method I'm about to share, you must ensure first that you indeed have a rock chip processor and you must identify what kind of Wi-Fi chip na meron ka sa device mo. One of the best apps to use for this purpose is the device Info HW. Just download and install this from the Play Store. Once done, run it from your Android box. The app will list down what type of processor and Wi-Fi chip you have. Before we proceed, it is important to note that this flashing method I'm about to show you could possibly break your Android box lalo na kung magpa-flash ka ng mga untested or mga incompatible firmwares. It is therefore highly recommended to first back up your current firmware para in case na nagloko ang device nyo after flashing, you can easily restore to your previous firmware. Please refer to my other video in the link provided on how to perform this backup process. In this firmware flashing demo procedure, I will be needing the following Rockchip Driver Assistant Rockchip Android Tool A compatible firmware Which I will be using a firmware for RK3228A processor with ESP8089 Wi-Fi driver A Windows PC or a laptop A toothpick or any long pointed device A full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable I have fully tested this procedure on an MXQ Pro 4K 5G with RK32288A processor with ESP8089 Wi-Fi chip. If you have the same chipset as mine, please proceed. However, I will not be responsible for any damages done to your device in performing this procedure as all Android boxes, even those with the same specifications, contain various firmware and electronic components that could affect the flashing process. Please proceed at your own risk. For those with Android boxes that have rock chip processor but with different Wi-Fi chip, I have posted some helpful links below where you could possibly download a compatible firmware for your device. Please note that I have not tested them personally so please read and study all the comments in those forums before flashing any firmware to your device. Alright, let's begin. First, we have to download the rock chip driver assistant, the rock chip Android tool, and the Android box firmware. I have provided the download links in the description below so go ahead and download these files.
Once finished, simply extract these files using the built-in Windows File Compression app or any third-party file compression tool such as WinRAR or WinZip. For this particular demo, I will use WinRAR to extract each file to their own separate folder. Once extracted, you can place them anywhere you want. For my case, I will transfer these files in my C drive and place them in a folder which I will name as Rockchip Tools. Next thing we will do is to install the Rockchip Driver Assistant. We need to install this first because our PC needs to have the driver for it to communicate properly to our device. Let's open the Driver Assistant folder on a new tab. Get inside the Driver Assistant folder and double-click the driver install.exe. Click Yes for the User Account Control window. Click Install Driver and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation, click OK. You may now close all the windows related to the Rockchip driver. Next, bubuksan na natin yung tool na gagamitin natin sa pag-flash ng ating firmware. Going back to the Rockchip Tools folder, let's get further inside the Android Tool Release folder until we reach the executable file. Double-click the Android Tool.exe to open the application. Click Yes for the User Account Control window. The RK Dev Tool window will now appear. This will now be our main tool in flashing the Rockchip firmware. Okay, let's click the Upgrade Firmware tab, then click the Firmware button. A new window will appear which will ask for the firmware you want to flash. Let's go to the folder where we have saved the firmware. It is located in C drive under the Rockchip Tools folder which we have created a while back. Get inside this folder and look for the IMG file. Select it and click Open. Wait for the firmware to get recognized by the flashing tool. Once recognized, you will now be able to see the details of the firmware. Notice at the bottom part that there is no device found yet. Our Rockchip Android box needs to be in flash mode first before it can be connected to your PC via the full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable. To set the device into flash mode, first make sure that the power supply cord is not connected to the Android box. Then, i-coconnect nyo lang yung HDMI cord na galing sa TV nyo papunta sa MXQ Pro. As for the full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable, plug the other end of the cable to the USB port of your PC. While the other end, yabang nyo lang siya sa USB port na malapit sa AV port ng Android box nyo. Don't plug the USB cable yet. This will be done later. Next, get your position screwdriver and insert it to the AV port. Itulak nyo lang pababa hanggang maramdaman mo na may magkiklik. Don't release the screwdriver yet. Hayaan nyo lang siyang nakapress sa reset button. Habang nakapress pa ang reset button, you can now plug the USB cable. After 1 second, you can now release the precision screwdriver. Going back to your PC, you will now see at the status bar of the RK Dev Tool window that a loader device has been found. This just means that your MXQ Pro has been successfully connected to your PC via flash mode. We can now click the upgrade button. The flashing process will now commence. This will take time to finish, so I will just fast forward this process. You will see the status download firmware success once the flashing process is completed. You can now close all the windows and disconnect the device from your PC. Your device will undergo the initial boot after the flashing process. This will take a very long time so be really really patient with it. I will fast forward this part of the video until we reach the setup page. On the setup page, it will first ask you to set your preferred language. Just choose English and click next. Then it will ask you for your preferred screen scaling. If you think the display is too small for your screen, then feel free to adjust this setting to your liking using your remote. In my case, I am fine with the default value and I will just move on to the next setup page. This time around, it will ask you for your preferred Wi-Fi network. This is now our main proof that the Wi-Fi driver is working well in this firmware. Just select your preferred network, then enter your network password and click connect now. Once successfully connected, hit next. It will then show you an overview and a quick guide of the home screen. Take time to read it and click next. 
And finally, it will ask for your local time zone. I will click no since I do not live in London. I will select the correct time zone for my country and in my case, I will set it to Asia Manila time zone. Well, that's it. You now have a fresh look of your Android box. Malayo dun sa nakagisnan nating home screen ni MXQ Pro. The good thing about this firmware is that it already has a built-in RAM optimizer which you can click every time na nagbabagal ang device nyo. There you go! The purpose of this video is to teach you to do the flashing procedure in case na nagloko ang rock chip Android box nyo and you have no backup files to restore its original firmware. This is the best way to give a new life to your failing device. The most important thing is to look for a compatible ROM for your device. This will take a bit of an effort from your part but it will be all worth it pag napagana nyo ito sa device nyo. Coming up next, I will teach you how to update important applications in your Android device. Well, have you ever experienced that your outdated pre-installed Netflix or YouTube app is no longer working in your device? Well, don't worry, there's a fix for that and that will be covered in my upcoming video. Stay tuned to the channel for more helpful videos. Alright, that's it for now. Hanggang sa muli mga kafrugal, this is Lawrence and have a good day.